Shalom Torah family. This is a, a instruction guide, short instruction guide on how to how to do your Passover eating and what not to do. A lot of people are confused about what is permitted and what is not permitted during these days of Passover. First of all, if you do something wrong, like you like you eat in the wrong product, then that is considered an awera. Awera is a a a a, a mark against you between you and God. You've done a wrong that is not permitted. In order to rectify the wrong, you have to send in an offering to your Kohen, uh, some kind of an offering, which is usually an amount of money that will rectify that Overa, that sin that you committed. So, let's go through it. The confusion. Can you eat bread during this time? The answer is no. Can you eat anything that either has leaven or has the ability to become leaven? See, here's the problem. Here is the problem where a lot of people get confused. Let me give you a simple idea. If you made dough with flour, F-L-O-U-R, you made dough and you thought to yourself that, hey, there's no, I didn't put no leaven in it. I'm not making rising bread. I'm not making naan bread. I'm just making roti. I'm just making flat bread. Mexican style maybe, you know, tortillas and all that. And even tortillas, <laughs> let me tell you about tortillas as well. Even they could have leaven in it. So, you know, you, you leave it. You leave it resting. You leave it resting for 30 minutes. You go back, you cook it. You think nothing wrong was done. But hang on a minute, you actually committed an overa. And what is that? Although you may have only put some salt in it, or maybe you didn't. Maybe you put some butter in, maybe you didn't. Maybe you just did the water kneading and it was done. Some people use milk as well, either way it's okay. Now, what is the problem? The problem is this, that if you leave any kind of F-L-O-U-R, flour, leave it for 18 minutes, it becomes leaven. Therefore, if you then make, even if you make flatbread, even if you make something else, it's now got leaven in it. Because it automatically becomes leaven after 18 minutes. So you need to cook it within that time period. It means that you, as soon as you made the dough, maybe you leave it for 2-3 minutes, then boom, you go and cook it. Whatever you make from it. If you don't, the, the, the chances are you'll, you'll make leaven out of it. And similar with papadums, you know these innocent looking papadums, they're also made from flour, and so they can also have leaven because they leave them. They leave them sitting over. They leave the dough sitting, so they can make the the papa dumps. And guess what happens? It becomes leaven. So therefore, it's an overa. Similarly, now what about rice? Rice is permitted. What about corn? Corn is permitted. What about? Let me go through a list. Well, I mean, some people drink wine. Again. You know, it's debatable. It's debatable because during this time, only kosher wine is, is drunk. During this time, people don't drink the regular wine. Again, again, there is an issue. Again, the, the issue with that wine is to do with leaven because it's made from barley. So, be very careful because if you're drinking wine made from barley, which, which generally it is, or possibly wheat, and again, the similar trouble is that grapes are left grapes are left for the wine and they become yeast and then the wine is made from those and then guess what boom you you committed an overa so my suggestion is unless the wine is kosher and it is for passover avoid the wine it will cause you an overa so i would suggest similarly you know if you know, if you're going to make rice, sure, make rice, eat, make corn, eat, you know, all these things you can make and eat immediately. If you're going to make uh, flat bread, chapati, roti, you know, eat it, no problem, immediately. You know, within two minutes of, two, three minutes of the dough, you eat it. You cook it, you eat it. Now, you do not buy naan bread. 
very common in the East and common in stores and they sell it in packets and again avoid that okay avoid it fruits you're allowed to eat all sorts of fruits you can eat just be aware just be aware of what I just told you about grapes okay be careful about grapes because you might be innocently you know holding grapes because grapes have the tendency to become yeast because you know they they can and they do so therefore I would I would avoid grapes period now if you wanted to you know eat cucumber you wanted to eat other vegetables sure you can no problem anything that has the ability to become yeast sitting down is to be avoided I think that's probably clear other than that you know cakes pastries uh, things of that nature avoided for for the seven days period uh, I think generally speaking you know I can't think of anything other than that but this is basically where we are I mean uh, out of fruits you know pref you know the preferred fruit I would say dates is good to eat um, I would say bananas are okay you know oranges are okay I don't really see anything wrong with those fruits however it's the foods that we are concerned with any food that can be left over can become yeast uncooked state okay in the uncooked state especially the grains the five grains so if it could be left in a dough state and not cooked for more than 18 minutes it will become leaven you've already committed the avera therefore give the sadaka to your kohen in the gate and that means that now your avera your sin your violation of the torah is taken care of i i hope and i'm pretty certain that those of you who will listen to this will understand where i'm coming from and will adhere to these things now you might say oh, so what if i committed the avera well let me tell you so what <laughs> so for those of you who asked so what means that you will actually have created a negativity in your year this year because this is biblical year by the way biblical year just started the, you know the, the in march it started so if you committed an avera you committed a violation in the torah against god yeah nobody else saw it maybe nobody saw you doing that but between you and god there is a negativity now there is a broken relationship that broken relationship will result in you suffering a different kind of things during the year maybe you know loss in finance maybe ill health other things you know roof leaking tire puncture whatever <laughs> there's, there's a whole host of things that can happen to you so in order to rectify the avera means that you are in right standing with God God can bless you throughout the year so remember that that if you want to remain in a right state with God and be blessed throughout the year keep an eye on these things and also I would suggest you not to take vows you know, Nazarite vows because they are very difficult to keep in this day and age especially you know, when you are not permitted to eat grapes stay away from wine and other things and, and people you know by mistake can do those so uh, with that you know, have a happy Passover and um, I'm pretty sure that uh, this will help many people who listen to it. Thank you. Have a wonderful week of Passover. And Shalom Shalom to you.